Hey there guys, it's Rick Uter here with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Now today's review product is the Colt Python. This is a replica action pistol brought to you by Umrex USA. And normally we'd go through operation, feet per second, performance, all that kind of stuff. And we're definitely going to do that. But we've also got something a little bit different up our sleeves today. Stay with us. So before I get right to the cool stuff I want to talk about, let's take a few moments and talk about what this product brings to the table. So this is a licensed Colt replica. This is a replica of the Colt Python 357. It's got a great weight and feel to it. The cylinder slides out just like you would a real gun. It actually comes with a little speed loader, so if you wanted to, there you go, and you're ready to roll. Before you ask, yes, you can get extra shells and you can get extra speed loaders. So one of the things this does have that I do not believe the original has is an integrated safety. So right here, if you want to put this on safe, you just slide that forward to fire, you slide it back. Just that simple. Now this operates in double action and single action. Double action is what you'd expect. You point it, you just squeeze the trigger. Single action, you can cock it first. Just like that. So. It operates like the real thing, it looks like the real thing, it has shells like the real thing. That's kind of what an action pistol, a replica action pistol is supposed to do, is mimic the actual firearm. Now let's talk a little bit about performance. On paper, this is supposed to get right around 400. Definitely gets that, and it doesn't just get that at the front of the CO2, but I was 60 shots in trying to see how many shots I could get, ran a shot over the crony, and it was doing 401. So that should tell you that not only do you get the velocity, but if you let the CO2 recover and you don't rapid fire real fast, you actually get a lot of use at that power level. That's pretty cool. Now the final determination of how many shots you're gonna get per CO2 is really gonna be environmentally dependent. Temperature, how fast you shoot, all that kind of stuff's gonna play in. You're definitely gonna get like 72, maybe more, if you let the CO2 recover and you're in a warmer environment, you should get a lot of shots out of this. Now when it comes to accuracy, I was actually really impressed with what I got out of this. And I'm not a, much of a pistol shooter. I can hold my own, but I'm certainly no expert. This thing made me look good. <laughs> it just really did. Now it depended on what ammo I chose, how you know, patient I was with the trigger pull and everything. But this did a really good job at putting BBs right about where I wanted them to go. So when I was growing up, we really had one option, which was just steel BBs. And if you're shooting steel BBs, you, you know, your target choices are gonna be limited. Gotta be soft targets. If it's hard, you have ricochet, and it can come back and injure you. You don't want that. Today, we have some very cool options. We've got Dust Devil BBs right here. They are frangible. When they hit, they literally explode. If you hit a hard target with those Dust Devils, they just go to powder. That is what you want. That's very cool. We also have the Excite Smart Shot, and those just flatten out. When they hit something hard, they go squish and fall, so no ricochet there. Now, the Dust Devils are lighter. The Excites are heavier. The Excites are actually lead-coated. So how is that going to affect accuracy? Well, I wanted to put some precision BBs, these Umarex steel precision BBs, the Hornady Black Diamond, the Dust Devil, and the Excites. I wanted to see what kind of shock groups I could get. And I'm not shooting off a rest here. I'm just holding it and seeing what I could get. Take a look at these groups now. I started off with just the precision shot, and they shot really well. Now, those BBs have always shot. Just about any gun I put those in, they shoot great. I was very impressed with what I was getting. You take your time, control your trigger, you get some great results. Now, the next BB I tried was actually the Hornady Black Diamond, and frankly, I was shocked. I would have expected they would have done at least as good as the Umarex Steel BBs, but they actually spread out on me, and I, maybe it was me. We're, actually, I shot another group with those. We're going to come back to them again because I, I just expected them to do better. Now let's look over to the Dust Devils because, surprisingly, they did very well. Now, I pulled one, but the rest of them all landed in the bullseye, and that's pretty doggone good. That tells me that those are actually a pretty viable option you know, for accuracy. That's 
pretty impressive to me. Now the Smart Shot BBs also did very well. Now they weren't as tight as the Dust Devils or the Umarex, the Precision Ground Steel BBs, but they were still pretty good. And when I was shooting a steel target with those, the impact was noticeably different. They definitely hit with more impact. If that's important to you, then they're a great option. Shooting metal, shooting hard targets, they'll flatten out, but they also deliver more energy if you need that. So I wanted to give the Black Diamonds another shot, and I did, and this time it was much better. Still, wasn't as good as the Umarex Precision. So, you know, that tells me something. BB ammo actually does matter. Not only does it matter depending on the type of target you're shooting, but also just in general, you know, pellet guns, I'm sort of used to having a bunch of different pellets, finding the right one, seeing what works, and then testing with the best option. But BBs, I've been sort of just grabbing what I've known always worked, which is these Umarex. They always work great. But now I kind of know that they really are better than the other options as far as just pure accuracy goes. And I thought that was pretty cool. At least in this gun, those BBs worked the best for me. What's your experience? Maybe you've got some different information you want to share. Put it down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Guys, that's going to wrap this up. I hope you've enjoyed that. The Colt Python replica, really, really cool action pistol. I enjoyed shooting this. And if you like revolvers, you like action pistols, you like something that gets good accuracy, a ton of shots, you're probably going to like this too. I want to say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in this video. Guys, when you're looking to buy your next air gun, Looking to get your next batch of air gun supplies, and I tell you this every single video. Go to www.pyramidair.com and please let them know that Rick sent you their way. My name is Rick Uta here with Airgun Web, where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.